All right, cool splash screen on, and this is game two of bracket G of the, uh, then this is the, the first bracket of the semifinals in the Airmech Top Gun Tournament, and we are on Nestorn this time, and this will be between the green player in the upper left-hand corner, Akroz in the Steampunk Warthog once again with the same loadout as he's had the entire tournament, except for one game, and Zernitra, the red player in the bottom right-hand corner, and he's flying the classic Paladin and going with more of a balanced loadout than, um, well, definitely more of a balanced loadout than Akroz is. Um, and honestly, I would be a little bit afraid of Rebel Spam on Nestorn because... They literally will go from post to post to post. They won't really split too much, and they'll all go in a straight file line, and uh, you'll have to deal with yep. all that crap at the same time, and it, it, it's a little terrifying, so I'm a little yeah, bit excited. Scary. You're literally going to have to make walls just to try yeah, and it's, stop it's the Yeah, it's just ridiculous sometimes, correct. and but you won't be able to. The same thing. Yeah. I mean, Zernisha looks like it's going to be having a lot of jackals. So it's gonna be oh, like actually, jackal those are jokers. Those, Those are jo jokers. Oh, okay. so, so maybe they will be a little bit right? more. Yeah, maybe they'll be a little bit more effective against the rebels since they do have medium damage. Uh, so we shall see what comes out on top. I mean, it'll pretty much be the rebel anyway that'll come out on top. But uh, Zernitra immediately going with a scout, not harassing, and uh, Akros now. Akros is the one going with a harass. Oh no, Akros is doing a scout as well. Um, yeah, I mean there are many different options and avenues to go for in Nestorn, so uh, they both needed to know what was happening. Akros sending out yeah, rebels immediately. Uh, 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 okay, I, I want to say this though: Zernitra scouting, I can understand, but Akros, I mean, what is he gonna do? Like not build rebels? Exactly. Build yeah, rebels? that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so you're scouting, but I mean, really, are you not gonna build? Yeah, rebels? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's literally, I guess, I guess it's what you might do with the rebels, but. What are you not gonna do? Are you not gonna yeah. send them all on mass command T? You know, it's like that's what that's are the options that yeah, that's a good point um, And now Akros trying to uh, oh getting finished off by Zernitra in the air there uh, Putting some damage down on the fort. I'm not really sure why going initially with damage to the fort uh, It's a strange opening play uh, once again I don't I don't want to claim myself as a high-level player But uh, uh, it's just not something that I'm used to seeing and in terms of log, you know Just direct logical thinking. I don't know about dropping something with light damage damage against the fort right at the beginning of the game you know it's not you were not doing uh it's not close to half time or anything like that now zernitra Unless moving out with some yeah but but it's it or, kind or of but it wasn't he was he was yeah. there yeah it yeah. was weird um but yeah now zernitra moving out with jokers i don't know if he's gonna do the uh, hop over thing on the um on that gap or not um oh yes it does look like oh, he's doing that i love happening. seeing that's this happening um zernitra now go this. yeah exactly um he's not gonna be able to catch all these jokers they are really really fast but akros is going to have quite a, a difficult time i think um dealing this with this warthog is the warthog's just gonna chew through him that's oh that's happening. true the, man the, the advantage is that these jokers do drop infantry so you got a little bit more to clean up but that's true not, not does that take much. a little bit longer yeah exactly it's not like a, it's not like something that'll make that big of a difference and Zunitra actually really low on health I don't see him surviving this right now um, either that or he if he waits for a level up I don't know if he can oh Akros going for the air to ground just because of this specific situation right now finishing off Zunitra on the ground and using his rebels to get very the last smart, kill very smart gameplay right there just yeah the map aware seeing that level up you know what I can kill him if I just do this yep and now bring some rebels to aid in that DPS is gonna finish off these two money makers. Zunitra, oh man, I don't know if Zunitra is gonna be able to come back from this. Uh, this, it's just he lost so many credits just now, and he, I don't even know if he killed any. Okay, he like killed like two rebels just there. Um, already losing two more money makers, and Akros just massing up more and more rebels. Uh, yeah, if you look at the mini map, look how many green dots are all over the map. There's just so many, and that's the majority of those are Akros's rebels now going for the attack here on this close from Zunitra, and not you know concentrating on just one thing. Putting some rebels down on patrol at the bottom there, so they will start to uh, put damage down on those money makers and just bringing more and more rebels. And uh, really, really low on energy though. That's the thing. He did not he he did not um, regenerate his energy before coming over here for uh, that you know continued harass. Uh, but. It's still doing pretty, uh, pretty. Uh, he's still pretty, being pretty effective. He neutralized that forward or that close, and he's forcing Acro. Or he's forcing Zernitra to to move those money makers away until he can get it back. So that's just the more. <laughs> 
Oh god, I was gonna say, you know, that's more credits for Akros on his side, but if you think about it, it's more rebels directly. It's literally more rebels that Akros can spam. Um, now has some creeps here to, uh, and he will be able to snipe some of these jokers out. Um, Zunicha retaking this outpost, now so resocketing the money makers. That is very important, yes, but uh, hopefully Akros does not snipe any of, of them away. Will probably be able to get some of these jackals over here, but he is really low on health. Oh, I think Zunicha might be able to finish him off here. No, does oh, not. Oh my spam. god. Zunicha does not follow him all the way through. I, I don't think he would have caught him. That's why I think that's I think that's why he gave up. Uh, Zunitra really was not in the right position when Akros lifted off to really do a complete finish on him. It, maybe he should have put himself between him and his outposts. So uh, you know, on the way back, Zunitra would have been able to just throw down constant damage as Akros retreated. But uh, that that you know, just that situation at that specific time and Akros lifting up at a really good time, choosing to do that when Zunitra was not, was a little bit out of position was able to get away, and, barely. And, and Akra's doing a really good strategy right now of building rebels, you know, it's great, he's yeah, building I rebels, mean... and, and whenever he's not <laughs> building rebels, he's building rebels, so I mean, just great map awareness and unit building from Akra's right now. Yeah, it's all it's all about choices in Aramek, you know, and uh, if you're not building rebels, then you at the very least need to build some rebels, because if you don't have rebels, then you need rebels, so then you need to build the rebels to get more of the rebels. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's guys, just crazy. Uh, this is really good that RUI and are both on the same <laughs> page with this, because if you're doing rebel spam you're not building rebels, you should be building rebels if you're building them. Or bombs. Or bombs. Or bombs. Or bombs. Yeah. God, Kirby, you forgot that. How dare you. Uh, so now Akra's coming out with more rebels. Um... Out and decides to drop them for attack and and goes for to the other side to the other platform on uh, next to Zunitra's fort. Um, I mean, it's not like Zunitra really really needs to worry about the rebels doing damage. It's really Akros's fire that's really doing all the damage. Almost hits him with that stasis blast, but Akros gets away and does not get pinned on the ground. Um, oh, did they take that away? I forget if they took if they took that off or not. Um, Mech's getting pinned on the ground by... Yep, I was saying the same thing. I, I don't remember the, exactly. The one thing I also want to say right now is Akros has 50 rebels on Nestle <laughs> right now. Um, so we are going to be seeing probably a push coming from him pretty soon. And, and Akros is sitting on, um, you know, 30,000 credits, but he's at minus 2 power right now. So he needs to make a push soon yeah. in order to continue to he be He definitely will. Zerichra. Either that or he's just going to let his credits build up, continually bring two rebels, harass with them, and leave. At that's literally what he's been doing this entire tournament. He brings two rebels, harasses with them, and leaves. Might kill a money maker. And he's, just, and he's and he's leveling up that warhawk and that warhawk with the high DPS. You know, a yeah. lot of times you know, do you really need longhorns and dillos when you have a warhawk? Exactly. Yeah, and at level fifteen. The the, the warhogs, uh, the warhog attack actually it scales. Uh, really high. Once you get to the higher levels with a warthog, like the line, uh, if you've seen oh, that graph. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go oh, from Akros with all these rebels. Rebels from that the right outpost. Rebels from the left outpost. And actually, Zernitra is also everywhere. sending out. Also, he's sending out Dillos from his fort. So uh, I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. He's sending Jack. He's sending Jokers as well. So we have so many rebels now coming out, and a lot of Jackals are Jokers with a bunch of Dillos following. Um, this is bonkers. This is bananas. Oh, what is gonna happen? Huge. Oh my God, guys, look at the mini map. Right look at the mini map. It's a line of red and a line of green coming for mid and oh my god this is chaos so many rebels so many everything uh zernitra and akros wow. both trying to kill what they can um Zer <laughs> I, I have no words i have no idea what to say zernitra's just spamming his uh, his hammer he probably will go down here um and look at i think red has won because uh zernitra set those no, on t look at green though look at green though. i know they're moving to go past so i don't know where thing. they're going uh, yeah, a lot of them. They're going all over the yeah, map. Yeah. Zunitra has so much cleaning up to do. Oh now. my god. This is this is a little ridiculous. A lot of them are going to the fort. A lot of them are going to the other outposts as well. Uh, look at this mid. Have you ever seen a mid that looks like this? This is really weird. Um. Across is uh, trying to kill something here. Uh, I mean, yeah, he, that's what he's been doing the entire game. Let's see how this rebel surround. The rebel surround has been able to neutralize the right side um, that 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 forward for Zenitra and actually able to neutralize yeah, both. Right uh, yeah, both of his outposts. So Across can really just pick wherever he, wherever he wants to go. Uh, dropping some creeps here. I don't know if he's gonna be able to actually take this. Yes, he actually he does. does. He that. will be able to he spam more around. rebels, obviously. Uh, and and you know, it, it's it, it's good enough to prevent his outpost from being neutralized. Um, Zernitra is not going to be able to bring enough units to actually take the focus away from all of these rebels. Um, the one thing that Zernitra has is this mid. He really, really needs to use it for his, uh, to, you know, to his advantage oh, as much as possible. He's beginning to hop over Dillos, yes. to that, dropping Dillos. So, you know, Akros needs to be
He does he does notice it right now, so he is going to be prepared for it. Yeah, um, and in the meantime, Akros is grabbing that bottom left outpost. Um, now dealing with those Dillos at the front door. Those Rebels are definitely going to be enough, especially with his Warthog Fire going to be able to kill all those Dillos as well. Uh, Zunitra does not have the, the surround on mid yep. that I would really, really like to see, um, because that's really all he has left. <laughs> um, yep, and, and Akros now, you know, getting in there, doing more Rebels, and I think he might be doing some more harassing here, is going to drop... Uh, uh, Dilla, uh, wait, where is he going? He, he, he's, he's switching back and forth between outposts, and you're going to the left, now he's back at the right. Yeah, it's a little crazy. Um, on I wouldn't be able to keep this much attention on, you know, multiple things. Multitasking, especially in Arabic, is a little bit ridiculous. Zunitra neutralizing this outpost back down to neutral uh, from from green, um, away from Akros. But, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. I mean, he really, 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 really needs to keep the control of this mid, uh, regardless if he can keep it under, um, you know, keep it not neutral or not. And Akros still kind of hesitating, bringing uh, creeps to that right side. So the right side is going to be probably under Akros' control. This close is under Zenitra's control. Um, the mid now going to go back to Zenitra with four creeps going down. And Akros again... Uh, I don't really need to say it again, do I? What 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 is no. he doing, everybody? What is he doing? I'm not, I'm not for sure. What is he doing? Uh, I gotta say right now, he is at plus 71 power and 40,000 credits, so he really needs to camp hammering out rebels. Yeah. Keep building rebels. Exactly. And all Zernitra are just making the back butt. Akros needs to keep building more and more rebels and harassing Zernitra to win this game. Uh, I don't really think he needs to to win this game. He is definitely winning this game uh, so far. Um, already at the front door with two rebels, not being contested by Zernitra quite yet. Zernitra now finally coming back to the fight, dropping some Dillos in defense, but Akros has still has so much health and energy, now leaving a little bit early to play it safe, but look at all the damage already gone down on Zernitra's fort. Uh, man, this is just a little bit crazy. I don't know how to overwhelm this. Um, yeah, uh, Zernitra has pretty much lost this mid, uh, there, uh, has lost a lot of units there as well, and Akros is just attacking, 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 just using rebels uh, non-stop. I mean, he is using he's he's front dooring quite a lot you know using warthog for uh and has been able to take zernitra down this far already yeah and dropping creeps i don't know if he's gonna be able to take this no he's not and, and, the, one, and the, one, the one advantage right now that akros has with having that green outpost is the fact that there are gonna be no creeps going towards mid however all of akros's creeps are going to be going towards mid so zernitra has to manually uh, add creeps there where Akroz is doing that just yeah, automatically. Yeah, exactly. So the mid is definitely going to be harder for Zernitra to hold uh, because he doesn't have that forward outpost and does not have creeps being delivered to him automatically. Um, and Akroz now going for that bottom close. Uh, Zernitra coming back with... What is he... Oh, he he, moved, he repositioned his money makers. That was pretty weird. I'm not really sure what the point of that was. Uh, maybe he wanted blocking off eventually, but uh, now Akros has been able to take this. Akros has every outpost on the map except for mid, which still is Akros under contest. Does need to get back and take out those two dill, that dill, no, a single dill left on the top, just because that has been tinkling away at the quarter three, and that health is not coming back. Yeah, um, but I mean, at this point, Akros has so much map control. I don't know what uh, Zunitra can do. Um, he still has a, a, a few units sitting at this middle outpost but um, Akros can really just do what he's been doing this entire tournament and just landing and killing landing and killing and uh, Zernitra doesn't replenish his units over there and Akros now taking it so as uh, Zernitra really really close to being dominated uh, yeah if if if, if uh, Zernitra doesn't stop this then it's just a you know a matter of rebels until Akros actually gets to finish really it is uh, it just <laughs> needs to make more rebels. yeah exactly just needs to make more highlight them with control that's kind of, that's how I think of it. You're, you're like highlighting them <laughs> and uh, yep. and sending them exactly. on an attack. And uh, Zunisha now with four soldiers. This is the classic desperation move, getting responded to very quickly by Akros. Uh, there are two rebels going down, and more rebels going down. Uh, now Zernitra trying to retreat, but doesn't. Oh, he, okay, yeah, that oh, close is still under control, but really, really close there. But again, um, why is Akros? What, what's wrong with Akros? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't get it. What's what what, what's, what's the what's the uh, What's he tripping about? Oh, defend? the fend. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so yeah, I mean, um, now more more Dillos are coming up from Zernitra. Z Zernitra actually, I, I, this is actually pretty damn impressive from Zernitra. I mean, it, uh, yes, Akros is winning, but to be honest, what's impressive from Akros is his micro and his uh, and his reactions. Um, in terms yeah, of decision definitely. makings, he's not really doing 
too much of that, you know what I mean? Um, I, so I, 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 he, he is being very smart in recognizing when he needs to be attacking with that Warthog and hitting key points at Zernitra's uh, locations to really cripple Zernitra and distract him. And that's what that, he's doing. That's true, that's true. He's literally kind of doing both all the time though that's the thing he's doing rebel harass rebel drops and building rebels at the same time that he's going up places on the map and uh you know trying to kill a, a money maker or a joker here and there uh the way that he's uh the way that he's doing it he's just taking rebels here dropping them there and then going to another place and and uh you know just trying to kill what he can with his with his uh with his hog uh actually was able to kill a money maker and two jackals and is getting oh, wow. away with it gets oh back. across gets back Zernitra not stopping Akros, um, almost never stopping Akros actually, and now there's there are rebels at your front door. Zernitra, start to panic. Uh, rebels, op. Uh, there's and not really. Akros has the main captured, and it's going to be well enough defended where Zernitra is not going to be able to get this one back. Yeah, I, I, that's what I would have. Well, that's kind of what I what I've said for the forward before, but Zernitra was able to clear the majority of those and uh, get get it back. But at this point, uh, Zernitra is way way behind. Um, Akros has so many credits in his bank. He, he the the waves yeah. of rebels so will never doesn't. stop ever. Never ever yeah, stop. And, and, and the bad thing is, is now that Akros has this close, uh, this close factory, those three money makers that Zernitra had on there are no longer giving him money. Yeah. So Zernitra's income is pretty much screwed. Uh, Akros has the mid, which is an outpost, which will give him, which will give him money. Uh, he doesn't have that forward on that right side, but it's neutral, so nobody has it. And Akros just tearing it up with that warthog, killing so much stuff. And Zernitra, God, I, I'm, I, I would like to know what's running through Zernitra's head. I, I would probably be WTF, uh, I would say. Yeah. Because W, oh no, WTF Rebels. I probably is what I would say, think and, in my and head. This is what I've been thinking. I would honestly, if I was in the scenario, what do I do? You know, yeah. What, what do I do? I and, mean, okay. Just, what can I do? And, and not even what do I do. What would anyone do? I know I'm not the best player, but what would the best players what do? Would, I, what would Trimplicity do? And we might have that solution. What is Trimplicity? <laughs> you mean tangibility? Is, is that what you're saying? Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. sorry. What, what about, what would tam Tangibility do? Oh, man. And now Akros again putting down more damage onto Zernitra's fort. Zernitra is now behind in terms of the fort health. And uh, more rebels going down again. Non-stop waves. And j it's just going to be send after send after send for Akros and just it's this is just gonna be craziness and Akros is yeah. sending again um, he's sending from you know from his mid Wait, what, tell me are you at what is he sending I, I don't remember what those are called actually I'm gonna have to look at the spreadsheet or something like that or a, a picture reference uh, but he's sending something man it looks they look like those tanks from Syria I'm not really sure but uh, <laughs> But that was I saw that article and that was great. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I mean, Akros, I, I don't I, I, saying the same thing over and over seems kind of moot. But uh, I I I'm just still flabbergasted at the effectiveness of, of this of this quote unquote strategy. Um, yeah. Uh, and and at this point, it looks like Akros is. I mean, he still has fifty three thousand credits in his build queue. It's literally. It's like. It, it's what kind what there is no analogy that I could think of that or really really compare this properly uh, and here we go. I don't know Akros now in map control now is in that dominating scenario against or at least Zernitra. will be in a minute so, after the minute passes um, yeah so so well, it has a minute and 30 seconds I think is it 90 seconds I don't remember exactly like 60 seconds but Zernitra uh oh getting finished oh, off by that. Akros and uh, now Akros dropping down to XD um, there's just gonna be Zernitra Zernitra you need to block against rebels, okay? So, whatever defends against rebels, do that. I hope you can hear me. Okay, anyway, back to the game. Akros finishing off a moneymaker. Oh man, it is one. The upkeep is oh, 124 to 8 right now. Oh, 16. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Akros. Those level 4 creeps scare your way, Akros, a little bit. Hey, level 4 creeps are terrifying, man. Level yeah, 4 creeps are. are freaking disturbing. Uh, bot spawners are pretty OP when you hit quarter 4. Uh, it's a strange mechanic. I know it'll eventually go away once uh, the rules get changed, but uh, we will see. Hopefully that, uh, that, that little specialness from uh, high-level creeps will stay in the game. 
I and agree completely. I really enjoy this level. What is Akros doing? Grabbing these creeps, bringing them all the way up to... Oh, he's beginning to be defensive with these creeps? Is he that... is. That's kind of weird. Wow. Um, I, I'm i not really sure what the point is at this point. Um, I thought the point of this game was Rebels or something, but now he's going to... Damn it, he didn't do it yet. But I, I was about—I was predicting that he was about to do it. Uh, he didn't send out his rebels yet, but he's making quite a mass of rebels at his mid, um, and it's pretty. I don't really know what his what like what his timing decisions are, like why he decides to move out when he does, especially here closer to the end, why he isn't just going, um, especially because it's 160 to 36 right now in his favor, and Zernitra gonna be finished off. Uh, there's almost no way that he can survive this against Akros. Uh, wow, well, yeah, there he he's, no, he survived a little longer than. I thought almost, he would. Akra's almost running out of energy, though, where he wouldn't have been able to shoot. Uh, yeah, that's true. Um, plus 58 power, so Akra's can definitely and just put more rebels down on. Right now, so Zernitra is only gaining 15, um, or 15 or 20 income every second, so yeah. he is being dominated now. I would really, really like to have that displayed on, um, I know. yeah, that would be super awesome, but, Mr. uh... Mr. James, we, we beg you, we <laughs> need dominating, and we need the current, well, I guess the leveling up's gonna kinda go away. Yeah, so it's not for, necessarily um, worth it to do that at this point. But, but it would have been great. I don't know if also, dominating is even gonna stay, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, so I, Nitra yeah, moving but, out does have Dillo's, uh... <laughs> I was about. I was. It's kind of exciting until you really consider what's going to happen. Uh, those yeah. Dillos are just going to run into a wall of rebels, and it's just going to be bananas. Uh, Zernitra. Well, actually, actually, the, the rebels best that's going to happen is it's going to neutralize it, and Zernitra is going to get an income again. Yeah, or um, or the the Dillos will eventually kill a few of the rebels. Oh, actually, they're actually kind of clearing house here. Um, if you look at if you look at Akros though, he has all of these level four creeps in a line working together. So I think when they're gonna hit us, oh, he stacked point, his creeps. Oh boy, yeah, he's stacking he's stacking his creeps. So when they get to a certain point, he's gonna rush the creeps with the level four, and that's gonna be game because that's gonna be impossible to stop, or pretty close. Considering Akros now has no um, energy income, he's at plus one plus two. Yep, 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 and uh, it's it's about time now for Akros to move out. He's pretty much going to expend all of his energy and use, uh, what, 71 rebels out on the field. Oh god, oh god, I'm excited. I'm a little excited to see 71 rebels move out. No, is he going to start from his outpost? Uh, here's, here's my thing. If Akros lags out of this game because he has so many rebels <laughs> on the field... <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. That That is a possibility. Uh, now Zernitra looking for those rebels, and oh my god, they're moving. Oh my god, look at all those that died. That was crazy. Um, it, I, I guess it had to do with the... Uh, I don't know what it's called now. The mechanic Splash, where... Splash yeah. Damage explosion? Yeah, is that Something what like the... That? It's idea. There's no name for the mechanic quite yet, but all those rebels just getting hammered by these bombs. Uh, oh my god. Look at... And there's nothing defending um, Zernitra's front door. Zernitra did get killed there by the rebels on the ground, but Akros has lost 30 rebels just there. And, and, and Zernitra said he Zernitra forgot he had bombs. bombs. Oh my god. Zernitra, That's how great. do you forget about bombs? <laughs> uh, they're pretty much the most See, used um, and, weapon yeah. in air mech right now. Whoa! So rebels everywhere right now. Um... Akros being chased down is going to get back in time, but Rebels were able to neutralize the right and the left right now, so these Rebels are going anywhere. Zernitra's uh, total upkeep right now is 8, so that consists of two money makers. <laughs> um, <laughs> and now these level 4 creeps are wandering back to this outpost, will eventually make their way to the fort. Akros was front dooring a little bit, but really low on health, not going to be able... Oh, he did level up there, um, and he didn't really need to, honestly. He, he was fine. He would have been able to get back to that outpost. Um, and Zernitra actually really low on health. Oh, oh Akra's not able to finish him off with ground to air. I love doing that, actually. Look, killing mechs with ground to air. That's super fun. Um, but now Zernitra trying to defend against these rebels and level 4 creeps coming at his uh, in his face. And Akra's repositioning his, his uh, rebels just a little bit, firing in. We'll probably be able to get this finished. Now there's Seekers down on the ground for Zernitra. I guess, yeah, you should probably defend against the Hog. But uh, the rebels are also quite a concern. Uh, some, some creeps and soldiers are still making their way to this fort. And Zernitra has actually been able to keep those two Seekers alive. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, but now Akros with three rebels on the side. Uh, it's j and Zernitra's life is just going to go down slowly, 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 and slowly. 
And now there's, there's nothing he can do to contend this. It's just going to be a very it's, slow, yeah. This is pretty much just a stall right now. All he can do fortress. is a stall. Yeah, exactly. Um, and really, Iacros can just finish this probably in the next few. I don't know, like 30 seconds just by front dooring. Um, but instead, going for the seeker. Uh, yeah, Zunichra pretty much has zero income right now. He has 2,000, 3,000 credits. And Akros just has an unlimited supply of rebels for the most part. Um, I don't see how it would ever stop. And he didn't send them to go out. He just set them down. He's just going to shoot at the side of Zunitra's fort. But uh, it will just be a little, ma a, you know, a short amount of time now uh, until Akros can just put down enough damage on Zunitra's fort. And uh, probably with rebels. What the hell am I yep. saying? Definitely yep. with rebels. And, uh, and Akros now at the front door will transform away from Zunitra just in time. And Zernitra will not be able to finish him off. Now that scary sound is going down for Zernitra. And Akros with... Uh, God, uh, do I have to say it again? Okay, now this time he's splitting them. Putting one on each side of the fort. So, hey, something <laughs> different. Thank go. God. Um, wow, it's not the same with every Yeah, it's not the rebel. same exact thing that he's been doing the entire time. But, Ness, this will be enough. Victory going to Akros. And does move on to the finals. Oh and my gosh, Akros with... Wait, never mind. 77 Airmex. No. Two, okay, two Airmex destroyed. Okay, I thought there was a Yeah. Lot.